Hey everyone, have you ever tried to dive into RuneScape, Dragon Wilds only to have the game crash on you at the loading screen, throw up a shader decompression error, or simply refuse to launch? You're not alone. Dragon Wilds runs on Unreal Engine 5, and when that engine meets certain GPU drivers, especially under DirectX 12, it can trigger device removal errors or shader decompression failures. What you'll see is a fatal error pointing to shader code archive.cpp or an abrupt D3D device removed message, and honestly, it can feel like you've tried everything to get back in. One simple tweak that's helped a lot of folks is to underclock or undervolt your graphics card just a bit and force the game to run in DirectX 11 mode. By grabbing a free utility like MSI Afterburner, you can dial your GPU core clock down by about 50 MHz. It barely impacts your frame rate but it can stop those thermal spikes or driver hiccups. Then, in Steam's launch options for RuneScape, Dragon Wilds, you simply type DX11 to tell the game to use DirectX 11 instead of 12. Give that a try, and you might find the crashes vanish almost immediately. If you'd rather bypass the DirectX path entirely, Vulkan is a fantastic alternative. Just swap out DX11 for Vulkan in the same Steam launch options box. Some players have said they only see a white screen the first time, but scaling down your resolution, say from 2560 by 1440 to 1920 by 1080 and lowering texture settings to high can get you into the game. Once you're in, you can tweak until you find a sweet spot for performance and visuals. For those of you rocking the latest Intel 13th or 14th gen CPUs, like an i914900K, there's another culprit, your motherboard's default power limits. Unreal Engine's shader compilation can push your CPU voltage and power draw so high that it triggers protective shutdowns. A quick BIOS update to the newest firmware, and then setting your CPU power limits to Intel's recommended values, often clears up those sudden restarts or hard crashes. Finally, there's a handful of in-game settings and config files that can stubbornly stick in the way. If anything else fails, head into your local RS Dragon Wilds backslash saved backslash config backslash windows folder. Open up game user settings.ini and flip B frame generation equals true to B frame generation equals false. Then, back in Windows, kill any Epic Games background services you might have running and rename or delete that entire config folder so the game builds fresh settings on launch. More often than not, that last step banishes any lingering corruption or bad tweak that's been blocking you. So there you have it, for straightforward ways to stop Dragon Wilds from crashing or refusing to start. Give these a shot, and I hope you're soon exploring the world without another hiccup. If you found this helpful, hit like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments which trick worked for you.